and there you have all the different instructions to follow to create the introduction. You have the task with the different instructions, the process, Evaluation, very important, as you can see in this template, they are suggesting a rubric with the different points and criteria to consider. The conclusion. And as you can see, apart from the conclusion, there is also another element which is called teacher page. So this is specifically for the teacher. You know, all the instructions for the teacher, and especially if somebody else, if another teacher wants to use the same, the same web quest, there he will have you know, instructions to follow. For example, for example, This is an example of a template used to create a web quest. This is the first type of template. As you can see, it's a little bit um, static and linear, but it, you know, it fulfills all the requirements. And there you have the rubric for evaluation. Let's see now an example of the different templates using like a web page uh, style. This is another web quest using the, the other format, like a web page. And as you can see, you can navigate through all the stages. You don't need to go you know, one after the other, you can go directly to the conclusions, for example, of evaluation as a web page. For example, you have the process, you can go back to the introduction if you want, then you go to the conclusion, and finally, the evaluation, also with the rubric that you need to evaluate. Important question, why web quests? Um, for all kinds of reasons. To begin with, the language, you can easily focus on the four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking, and also the thinking skills, which are very, very relevant for students. Apart from that, you can deal with cooperative and collaborative learning, goal setting, autonomy, leadership, responsibility, time management, and organization. Sometimes all those elements sometimes are even more important than language itself. Well, and that's all. And don't forget to do the activities and also check the resources. Finally, I'd like to share with you um, a short text that I found in this book called Believe in Seeing. This is about the art the author in this book tried to uh, explain or discover what is art. In my opinion, you know, um, teaching is an art. So I'd like to share with you this, this short dialogue. It says, when I was a boy, my mother promised me, if you become a sailor, you will be the captain. If you become a politician, you will become the president. If you become a priest, you will become the pope. Well, I decided to be an artist and I became Picasso. So I'm quite sure that all of us can become a Picasso depending on our imagination and creativity and also depending on the passion we have for this, which is teaching. I hope this has been uh, useful for you and See you maybe some other time. Thank you very much.